hello hello so i have some friend mail i have a package which i'm very thankful for hillbilly chicken ranch susan thank you so much for thinking of me and you know mail used to be we get so excited to get snail mail and now it's just like everything's email and all we get is junk mail or bills in the mail and so mail is more like a chore so when you get something special in the mail it is just so precious and so I just want to say thank you so much. She sent me some, I believe, crafting goodies. Yay! <laughs> and just so you know, I did have um, an email just for my um, channel. And I did not renew that. Um, I just felt like, uh, I just, I don't know. I just did not renew it. So if you want to send me something, just let me know. And I'll give you my regular post office box. So, any news, I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh, yard. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. This is like, it's kind of like, kind of like Chanel. And it is Baby B. Oh, nice. And it's, ooh, it's so soft. Look at those colors. Isn't that pretty? Wow, Susan, thank you. It's. I don't know really what to describe this yarn. I was given some by, like this before and I really like it and it's easy to crochet with. Um, it's just kind of like, it's like cotton I think, but it is really soft and it's kind of like Chanel, sort of. I don't know what to call this. I'm looking here. Oh, hey, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma company. Cool, since I'm Oklahoman. Machine wash, warm, gentle, cycle, tumble, dry, low, do not over dry. I never put anything crochet in the dryer. Um, that's my recommendation for anything that I make. But anyways, I don't see. Oh, oh okay. So it's not put, so it is, it's polyester. It feels like cotton though. It kind of has a cotton feel to it. But yeah. Oh my gosh. I love this lemon yellow. This is so pretty. It's called baby gold solid. That's the color. That is such a pretty yellow. I love making yellow stuff for babies. And um, isn't that pretty? That's like a lemon drop yellow. That's a very pretty shade of yellow. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Wee! Oh, yeah. Hey. This is 100%. Oh, I love this stuff. Love, love, love. You know what? This will make some great headbands. I love the earth colors for headbands. I wear a lot of browns. And I just, I just, I think that is so perfect. That would make a nice winter hat too. The browns. Because, you know, a lot of people wear browns. You know, brown is just like universal. You know, and earth colors. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. But another thing too, I think she mentioned some stuff to make poodles with. And I have used this. The Bernat yard is really good for that. And what I'm, like this, these right here, I have another one somewhere, the other little one that I made. But anyways, I make little poodles like this. Isn't that cute? I did the, um, I did this one with, um, fun fur. Yeah, I did this one with fun fur. And then I have another one. It's around here somewhere. Where are you, baby? I'm looking for my little baby. I put it here somewhere. Oh. Here it is. Oh gosh, that's not a good twist on my back. Oh. See, so this is like this stuff right here. That's kind of like what this is. And it worked great for this little poodle. This is the first one that I ever did. I saw a tutorial here on YouTube. Isn't that cute? Ooh. I'm gonna make, I got some um, electric fence type um, wire and it's really, I'm gonna make a bigger one like that. Um, these, I think, will do good at craft fairs. So, thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, oh my great goodness. What? Wow. Arm knit cow. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's an Estelle pair. pair? I'm going to have to open it up. Frill Seeker. Ooh, I've never had this before. Wow. This is exciting and adventurous. <laughs> oh, and I like this bag, too. <laughs> See, I use these for a bag. 
that's perfect. I can put like my little craft stuff, my little ribbons and my beads and oh yeah. Zan's got a zip. Oh my goodness. What? I have never had this before. Look at that. It's almost like a tube type yarn. Wow. I'm going to have to do watch some videos on this. That is really nice. Free scarf pattern on reverse side of the label. This is uh, Estelle Yarns. That's what it says. Estelle Yarns. Look at that. Look at those colors. Woo. That is fresh. Thank you so much. Wow. I am blown away. Golly gee. And then it's got this pattern on the back. Look at that. You can do you can do this with your hands. Oh, how fun. You know what? I'm going to do a tutorial in your honor for this right here. That is so cool. I've never actually done this before, but I've seen videos where you can literally do this with your hand. That looks almost like a macrame. I don't That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Wow, I'm going to have to learn how to do this and do a tutorial. Fun, fun, fun. In fact, I'm doing a crochet class locally, and I'm going to put some things down to see that people may want to learn, and I'll, I'll put this on here. Yeah, and I'll shout your channel out, too. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to put the link to her channel in the description, you guys. She does um, Let's Be Friends, like you can meet other YouTubers and kind of just like support each other and just meet new friends oh my goodness portinary one grommet panel 50 inch wide by 84 inches in length fits up to one inch diameter rod oh wow this is wow oh my gosh i've never had metallic and i love metallic like when i paint with my acrylic pour painting if you like to learn how to do that i have tutorials on my channel um, on my playlist and um, I love the metallic paints. I love anything shiny and just bright colors but I love metallic specifically and that is so pretty. Mary Maxim Fabulous Metallic. Love love love. Now that is oh my goodness you guys look at that. How beautiful is that? Susan thank you so much. You're so sweet. Oh my word. Look at those colors. They're brilliant. My goodness. I'm going to have so much fun with that. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my word. Look at this. It's got sequins. What do you call those? Sequins? Sequ sequins. Yeah, those little shiny things. Just more shiny stuff. I love shiny and sparkly. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, wow. I love, love, love this. Thank you, Susan. Wow, I'm blown away. And another baggie with a zip logging <laughs> for my crafts. Oh, my goodness. Some magazines. What? Crochet one, two, three. Yay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All kinds of ideas. Wee, wee. That's nice. How cool is that? Oh, I'd like, you know, I've never done a square blanket before. And actually, of all the stitches I've done, all the patterns I've done, the ones that I've created, do you know, I, I may have done a granny square years ago and I just don't remember it. I think I might have, just just to say that I did it. But I've, I've done, never done granny square, so I'm going to have to work on that. But uh, I do a lot of different things, a lot of different things. But there's a lot of, I love to learn new things, you know. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I just learned how to do a rose uh, the other day. The, the, like the fat, like one where you like lay flat. It'd make a nice thing for your blankets or you can put it, even put a magnet on the back of it and put it on your fridge. But then there's a stemmed rose that I'm, I'm going to be learning and then do a tutorial on that. And it is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So many ideas. Woo woo. Oh, look at that purse. Oh, hey, Susan, I love that purse. If you want, I'll make you one. I'll learn how to make that. I, I, that's a, I think that's a cluster stitch, and I've learned how to do that. And I have rings that I have that I have in my craft supply that would be perfect for this purse. So if you want one of these purses, let me know, and I'll make you one. Um, just let me know what color. And, uh, ooh, la, la. I like that. That's cute. Isn't that cute? I love stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of different, a lot of different, oh look, a candle, a kind of 
Kanuka Candle Pillow. Oh, how cute. Oh, such pretty stuff. Thank you. Oh, Christmas tree, Christmas stuff. A little, little, little hat. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, I like that stitch. I might do this blanket right here. Yeah. Okay, lots of patterns. Ooh, nice. You know, I've never done patterns, but if I know the tutorial and it's something that I've already done, you know, I can like glance on it just to remember how many, how to get going again. But generally, I watch tutorials, but I do, if there's a tutorial on it, it does help me to have it written down too. So, look at that. So much stuff. Oh my goodness, thank you. Wow. Oh, look at Granny Square Bag. That's cute. Now, see, I like these shrugs. I love these shrugs. And I like the shrug part to go down to about here. And then the sleeve part to go about here. And there is a shrug pattern a tutorial that I'm wanting to do. And, um, yeah, I love shrugs. Shoulder shrugs. A lot of cute stuff in here, though. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right. That one. And, uh-oh. Wait, wait. There's a card. I'm so sorry. I didn't see this. Uh, okay. It was kind of like stuck in the middle of the magazines. Oh, pretty. How pretty. Pretty flowers. Thank you. Stay humble, work hard, be kind. Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Love that. Hi, Missy. Hope you like my stash buster package. Thought the magazines might have items you can sell. Hugs there. Susan, Philippians 413. Thank you. Yes, I love that. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I love to get ideas. Mm -hmm. And I might take this to the class, too, that I teach in the class. And let them look through and see if there's something, you know, something simple. Because it is a beginner class. But if there's something specifically that they want, you know, and if there's enough of them with the interest, you know, like little things decorations. There's a lot of little things that are easy to make that I can get done in a one to two hour class. Okay, my goodness, look at this crochet fantasy. Uh-oh, the sticker stuck on it. I love that. That is so pretty. Yeah. Because I live near the lake, I was wanting to learn how... Ooh, look at that. I really like that. I love that. That's elegant love that um i was wanting to learn how to do one of those like things you put wear over your bathing suit i thought that would sell around here around the lake because it's a lake area cute 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 oh yeah and um i've been looking for kitchen stuff um ooh, that's pretty to learn how to do kitchen Items and I learned how to do that dish so thick. I thought that was cute. And it was fairly easy to make too. So thank you so much. See like that? I like that. Something that you kind of like wear over or something summery, you know. It's not really warm enough for a sweater or whatever. Thank you, Susan, so much. I'm just so overwhelmed and blessed. Thank you. Wow, I'm blown away. Thank you, Susan, so much. You're so kind. I'm so, so, so thankful. But yeah, let me know about that purse and um, if, if you were interested in that. Um, yeah, and also, I had an idea to send you some of the, um, you know, those towel with the hidden ring type things. Um, if you use pot holders, because I like, I look at all the stuff that you have in your kitchen and your cooking videos and stuff. And so I just wasn't really sure. I was like, should I just send her stuff or should I ask her first? So would you like some pot holders and with like the matching towel hidden ring thing? If so, let me know like what colors you like. Anyways, yeah. Thank you. That is so pretty. Wow. Oh my goodness. That I love those. The sequins and those. I am blown away. The metallics. Those are so pretty and this is really cool i am definitely going to learn how to do that and um yeah i'm probably going to watch a tutorial video and then these instructions with it and um see how easy it is to make and then maybe maybe show that in the class to see if other people will be interested in doing that too and who's but basically it's just a, a beginner's um crochet class 
very basic beginner stuff, but love this. Ooh <laughs> and yeah, so I'm going to make one of those big poodles and I don't know, this is so pretty. Um, but I have some, I have one skein of Bernat white yarn and so I was going to use that and this is so pretty though. Yeah, I really like that. I'm thinking I could be used that for the poodle, one of them. Thank you so much. You're so kind. And so I'm going to end this video and uh, I'm going to drop the clue word package. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll put a link to Susan Hillbilly Chicken Ranch channel. Her and her husband do some great videos and um, she's a great hostess. She does the live streams once a week and she does a lot of live streams and you know great opportunity to meet a lot of other people other channels and yeah so i'll put the link to her channel and so um the giveaway that i'll be doing will be here in a few days and basically just comment one clue word that you hear and don't comment anything else with the clue word just the clue word and that's one extra entry towards the giveaway and then there's all of my videos have hidden clue words in them and you just comment clue word for each clue word you hear you get an extra entry and then if you comment a comment that does not include the clue word in addition to the clue word you get even another extra entry so you can get potential two um extra entries for a clue word so anyways and i do paypal all you have to do is give me your your email and a comment your paypal email that's it nobody else will see it but me and that's it you say hey i won here's my paypal uh email and then i do robux and um so also sometimes i do gift cards and then i do craft stuff so and if you would do tutorials of any kind or if you're a robloxer please comment i'll check your channel out i'll put your videos in my playlist and it actually helps get more visibility when somebody puts your stuff in your playlist and I like to see tutorials, so please share. And that's it for this video. God bless you, and I hope you have a good one.